Good morning, so it's another day, another bit of travel for me. I am getting ready to go to Michigan today because tomorrow I'm leading a workshop. It's like a five and a half hour workshop, so it's gonna be a really long day. Um, but right now it's almost seven o'clock in the morning. I need to jump on a quick phone call about our app that we're developing, and then I need to get myself to the airport. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So I just got off the call, went really well, and now I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I'm gonna put together some food. I always like to bring food when I'm traveling just because it's easy for me to stay on top of it, on my health, <laughs> stay on top of my health when I bring my own food. So I'll show you what I'm gonna pack. For breakfast, I'm going to have two pieces of this Ezekiel toast. I love this stuff, it's so good. And I'm also going to have some eggs with some spinach. So for lunch, I've just warmed up this um, pork tenderloin that I cooked the other day with some couscous and peas. And then I'm also going to add in some of this kimchi, which is, um, it's just fermented food. It's really good for gut health. So I like to have a little bit of sauerkraut or kimchi with every um, meal that I eat. So I'm gonna put that in there as well and then I'll have a nice snack for, um, for my travels today. So no matter how often I travel, there's always this moment where I'm about to take off for the airport where I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I forget? I'm sure I forgot something. And then I go into like, I find myself going into this little tailspin of panic and then I stop myself and I'm like, you know what? If you forgot anything, you're gonna be fine. Like, you're gonna live. It's not the end of the world. Worst case scenario, you have to buy it once you get there. But more often than not, I surprise myself by realizing that I can survive just fine without whatever little thing I forgot. So if you're somebody who deals with a lot of anxiety around travel, it's a good test to just see you know, what you can let go of, what you can detach from. All right, so I've got the whole car packed up. Now I'm ready to drive myself to the airport. It's just a one night trip, so I don't mind paying for parking for just one night. made it to Detroit and now I need to try to find um, the exit to this place. I'm in a giant parking lot. I need to find the exit and then um, I'm gonna go see my dog. My dog, I can't wait to see him. Did you miss me? Did you? Are you a good boy? You are! So it's been a really... Hey! Buggy, come here! <laughs> this dog. It was a really nice day. <laughs> hanging out with my dog. Um, we went for a walk and I made him his dinner and I just really missed him so it's been nice to spend a little afternoon with him. I planned my, some like details of the workshop that I'm gonna be leading tomorrow and um, so now I'm gonna pack up pretty soon and head over to my hotel and get some sleep. It's been a really, really long day. So it's been quite a day. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy because I'm like crying over my dog but God, I love that dog so much because he doesn't live at home with me I feel like 
I always know I miss him, but it's like out of sight, out of mind, and then I see him, and I just wish he lived a car ride away, you know? So I'm feeling sad. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull myself together here. I'm looking forward to eating some food and getting a good night's sleep and digging into this um, book I've been reading. It's called Keeper of Lost Things, and it's really good so far so I'm about a third of the way in so I'm gonna read some of that hopefully get a really good night's sleep and then wake up tomorrow and drive I think I have about an hour drive um, my workshop starts at 10 30 and it goes till 4 so good morning um, it's Saturday getting ready for the workshop slept pretty good then I went down to get some breakfast and the options were Pretty limited. Everything tasted like rubber, like right down to the pineapple that they served. So, I don't know. I'm staying at like a very corporate place and I wish that they could get on board with just healthier options. Um, you know, like traveling is hard enough, so it's tough to like wake up first thing in the morning and then get like super processed breakfast food. So, I'm getting ready early and then I'm gonna drive down um, to the town that the workshop is in and then hopefully try to find um, some better food options for breakfast. I just got to Michigan and I'm putting together the swag bag with the help of Victoria Hi. who didn't know that I was going to feature her in this vlog but now she's a superstar. Here are our goodie bags. We have water bottles from Sweaty Betty. We have notebooks from North Books. We have temple tape. This is a headband. We have a gift card from Almond On. And then socks and a yoga strap from Clever Yoga. went really well and now um, I'm heading back to the Detroit airport 